And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Lux. It's been a while since we've played a Karma Lux control deck. And we're going to be getting to it today. It's going to be our first of three donation decks. You can notice that we have a lot of twos in our Karma Lux control. And the reason why um, we have a lot of twos is because all of our games are going to be a little different. We're going to be a reactive deck that's not going to be playing, that's not going to be having the exact same game every single uh, game. Like, we're not going to be trying to do the exact same game plan every game, if that makes sense. And so depending on what our opponent's doing, our game plan's going to kind of mold to what they're doing. And therefore, we're going to need more... Um, we're going to need access to more different cards and more options. And so therefore, I think we're going to be wanting to have more twos um, so that we have more car different cards in our deck than just all three ofs. Um, I think all three ofs is like when you're playing a deck with a lot of threes, that's going to be a kind of deck like where you're trying to do the exact same thing against basically everybody. Um, this deck, not so much. So our, we're going to be built around, of course, our two six mana champions with Karma and Lux. And really, we want to get to the late game. That's that's the ideal scenario is get to like where we have leveled up Karma, right? Like anytime you play a Karma deck, you want to be able to get leveled up Karma because this is where Karma is really strong, being able to double cast all of your spells. And that, of course, works really well with Lux because whenever you double cast your spells, um, the mana for both of those spells do add up. So you get to six mana easier for, for creating your uh, final sparks with uh, six mana cast. So let's give this a, a shot. We're going to be playing a couple of Grand Plazas in here. Just a great card for Demacia. It's not really what our deck's focused on, though. We just got two of them in here um, because, you know, but it, it is just a really good card. We're going to have it in here. Um, a lot of these cards can create other things, right? Like Mage Seeker Conservator, whenever last breath, you create, we're creating another spell. Um, Egghead Researcher, we're creating some dragons. Um, Vanguard Sergeant, creating a four Demacia. So we have a lot of cards, like, so we, even though we don't necessarily have too much card, card draw, per se, we have some decent card advantage with those kind of cards. So, um, all right, so let's, let's give this a try. We're gonna go play our five games over in Ranked. All right, playing against some Grand Plaza right away. Now, we don't really have any good landmark removal, so this isn't this isn't something I love seeing because we can't remove the landmark. So we have turn three Remembrance right now. Um, you know, trying to get to turn five Radiant Guardian. Let's mulligan this Deep Meditation. Um, I think Egghead Researcher is probably good enough for turn four. I think, I think it's probably worth it. So like right now we're looking at yeah, like, remember it's on three and then four, we can have Researcher plus Nopify, or at least hold the mana up uh, for Nopify for later. This, Which, this is a pretty decent Nopify matchup. Because they have, like, those spells that create the Ephemerals um, that uh, Nopify will be able to counter. Wow. I didn't exactly have that expectation. Them also being a Remembrance deck. Hey, Grace Claw, thank you. All right, let's mess some folks up. Because if they if they block, then they give me the ability to kill their screeching dragon. But I guess that it still just only trades with the screeching dragon. So I could attack with the Grizzled Ranger again. Hope they block and try to get Radiant Guardian in play. I don't know. This is kind of tough. For the 
fallen. So many Radiant Guardians. Guess I'm passing. I could go Grizzled Ranger. Let's see what else they do, though. So they're certainly going to be attacking. And so I could play Grizzled Ranger after combat. Wow. That's not cool. I get to just kill Radiant Guardian for three mana and I don't gain any life. Attacking with just Grizzled Ranger as the scout doesn't make a whole lot of sense because they just block with Neverglade Collector. Um, I guess that the, the sharp sight draw can make that make a little bit more sense, but still. Another Radiant Guardian in here. Sentinel See if it just dies to another challenger. Grand Plaza is so good. <laughs> That's why we're playing too, right? Like it's just like if you're playing Demacia, you you should probably be playing some Grand Plazas. There's not really a reason not to. There you are. Dragons, such fascinating creatures. Ooh. They grow up that so could be pretty fast. decent. That could be My pretty God decent. Does the talking. I can either be at 11, or I can block here and be at 15. I'm not sure. I guess I'll just go to 11. Yeah, I guess having the 3-2 alive is worth the 4 life. You can always block a 4-2 later. Yeah, we have three three single combats in here. I don't know which one to do. Radiant Guardian or Karma. I think I kind of want to do Karma. Yeah, I want to. I want to just get Karma in play. I think I'm just gonna be playing Infinite Mind Splitter. I mean, I, I have pretty decent attacks if I just want to attack. Also, maybe let's just do that. Let's just attack. Because they could have like their Senna, yeah, their Senna block my Radiant Guardian and kill it, but then then I play new Radiant Guardian. Let's let's just do that. That's a pretty nice one. Um, Justice will be served. It's a pretty nice one for Karma to create for me. Let recite protect me. And then we'll save the three spell mana. Sorry, Vanguard Sergeant. Heart and mind as one. This is looking pretty good now with the triple Radiant Guardian. But it's not over. Yeah, yeah, I'm 
You think they have Ruination? I don't, I don't think they have Ruination. Well, this is some good ones besides Sown Seeds. Um, yeah, those aren't bad. <laughs> you never seen a Sown Seeds Blade? There's, it's not special. There's no animation or anything. The only time I think I've ever played Sown Seeds is from Creating by Karma. I don't think I've ever put this in a deck. I don't think. Yeah, so you can get, yeah, you'll get plus two, plus zero to your allies in hand. With the karma in play, but just keep it up for post. Well, they can't attack with that thing, right? Everyone's I guess a they can. No, maybe, they, maybe they're not attacking with these. Maybe they're just going to be using Never Play Collector. All right, I guess I guess I'll do this. It does leave my karma vulnerable, but I assume they're gonna kind of pass turn. But now that's the other thing is now with with doing that, I do get give them the ability to just challenge the radiant guardian while I'm already at twenty, which is what they should have done. They should have challenged the radiant guardian, but now we get to just. Let that do damage and then block here. Yeah, we're we're looking great in this game. This this should be ours. I could have done that on their turn and opened attack with this. Ooh. Unyielding spirit. I don't think they can stop unyielding spirit. No, 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 no. Yeah. Karma's still good, especially when you get triple Radiant Guardian. That helps out. That better be a really good card. <laughs> I don't know what card that's going to be, but that better be something really good. Shark Chariot. Alright. Nah. Alright, we are 1 and 0 with Karma Locks. That was a good win. Right, like I think if all three of those Radiant Guardians that we drew were all three Lux instead, we'd probably lose that game to getting drained out. All right, we'll play against some Scoots. We could use Radiant Guardian again. We're obviously gonna keep turn three Remembrance, but after that, do I want another Remembrance and or Vela? Valor. I think I want them. Because I think I should be able to have the other Remembrance be 
a uh, probably a five mana car that could turn on Radiant Guardian. Usually you'd really like drawing your champions, but this is not really a matchup for my champions, especially the Karma. It's not a matchup for Karma. It's just this makes my next turn so bad. But I guess that's that's like really what this card's in here for. And it's not I guess it's not the worst turn. I can, you know, still like blinding assault challenge. Search them. All right, so we're, we're just going to take next turn off with the three spell mana. So, you know, trade two for two with scouts, trade the exact same, you know, trade mana evenly and everything. Take this turn off. So we, we have no landmark removal in this deck, and we have to keep facing the landmark decks. <laughs> like, what's the deal with that? Why do our, both of our opponents have to have turn three Grand Plaza when I have no landmark removal? I can honestly see them passing. I can see them passing here. Like, they, they should. They should not make that attack. They should definitely have passed. I, I would have I passed if I were them. I had one more man I could go both sharp sights. Shine with me. Man, one man a four four challenger. One mana 4-4 four, four challenger. Oh man, that's fair. Here we go. Never back down from what you believe. I'll make it easier to kill the Lux. Okay, so I'm at two spell mana right now. I wish I didn't make that block now. I wish I stayed at three. Yeah, I really wish I didn't make that block with drawing the Blinding Assault. I wish I would just go to three and then, you know, cast Blinding Assault, cast Radiant Guardian. I don't know. I, I need one more mana. Again. <laughs> we need seven mana. I want a Sharp Side and Radiant Guardian. All right, let's just send it on over to them. You can always get more mana by passing the turn. Of 11 mana? That should work out fine. My plan is like Barrier and Sharp Sight and Radiant Guardian. Um... Kind of means I need to do this first. Yep. Yeah. I'll 
protect you. Pushing my limits. Could have gone sharp sight first. Not ideal. My steel is yours. Playing with fire. One little life. I fight for the fallen. Just one little life. One itsy bitsy little life. Okay, so I can either uh, you know, make that eight life and draw a card, ritual of renewal. Um, it would be nice to wait till after Karma for that. I could could play a Remembrance, could just play Karma. Karma and Deep Meditation. Like, Deep Meditation, you know, doesn't get me to, you know, we're at 2 out of 6. So that's kind of awkward. Hmm. And I guess, I guess I have good blockers if I just play Karma. Ionia speaks through me. Good enough blockers. For an open attack. Ah, oh, they did have rally. How about that? Fortunately, all three of my important cards to play are all slow speed, so. I hope they play something before attacking. Of course, the Grand Plaza does make them, does incentivize them to play something before attacking. Soldiers, to me. Okay, they did. So I either gain 14 and draw two cards, or make two really good blockers. So I kind of want to go with the two blockers. The thing is, like, if I if I do this, we have five mana left over. So five mana left over. Obviously, these will die in combat, and then I'll be able to double remembrance. Um, but they can kill my. I don't know. They can kill one of these. They can kill either Karma or Locks. Um, yeah, it's like either way. Like we'll, we kind of help out like our, my blocking situation either way. I think I'm gonna go with the gain four. And draw two, because because then you know we can remembrance afterwards, and maybe hit some more radiant guardians or something. Look with they do something that we need to. Hey, look at that! That's the draw two helped. So seven. What do they have here? Um, so that's 12, 16. Okay, so I do have to block with one of those. Or I can uh, single combat. I guess it makes more sense. Wait. Single combat there. Yeah, I guess it makes it does make more sense to single combat than 5-4. Except for if they have... Cause it does. Yeah, I double cast it. Yeah, this makes more sense. Never back down from what you believe. Just in case. We'll put a blocker there, just in case. And that's why we put a blocker there. Because <clears throat> I would have died if I did not put that blocker there. Now I feel pretty good about this. Double casting these final sparks. So far. Well 
double lasers. All right, you want to play Grand Plaza? We can do Grand Plaza. We do Grand Plaza all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luck shooting lasers from beyond the grave. This is looking pretty good. Now Radiant Guardian would be turned on also if we hit Radiant Guardian. There we go. Yeah, and of course they have to play that, otherwise they're taking lethal. And yeah, they just concede. All right, Karma Lux, two and O. Oh. That was another impressive win, two impressive wins so far. All right, so we're playing against Callista Elise. So fearsome, Mulligan, Mulligan, fearsome with Targon. We're gonna have our turn three Remembrance again, and then at turn four Ranger. They've had a slow hand as well. Um, so there should be Pale Cascade, but that's a uh, worthy trade, I think. So we both have six cards. They have an additional one mana than what we have. They did get rid of a champion. They did not miss. I'll just pass. Of course, we, we do want Grizzled Ranger to die for Radiant Guardian this turn. It's a little easier for it to die if I pass. Now, I would prefer them to just attack immediately. I don't want them to, like, set up and play a whole bunch of stuff first, which is looks, looks like they're doing. So we're taking seven right now, which that's that's okay with Radiant Guardian. Ugh. Now we're taking eleven. Or I could play this other Grizzled Ranger. And then block like the Skitter and we take eight. I definitely would not play the Sergeant. I wouldn't want to block these things these eleven with the Sergeant. Well, that's a good play by them. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Time to get rowdy. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have blocked any of those things that I could block with the sergeant. Justice will be served. So right now, like more frenzied skitters is like the the worst case scenario, of, like making these not be able to block fearsome. Um, besides that, obviously glimpse beyond, another worst case scenario of them like being able to block sacrifice with glimpse beyond. Which that's what this looks like. Please don't have Glimpse Beyond, just let damage happen. Yay, damage happen. Well, that's good for me. Uh, we would like to draw single combat. That's what we would like to draw. 
I mean, I have, I have puppies bed too far over there. I can't get both me and puppy in the I camera. Pull the strings. So that's why I did not play something first. Now we will play... I think just Sergeant. Um, I guess I could just play Lux. And then I just have the Sharp Sight. Because it's like, will they have another attacker? I guess if they have like more of like the 4-1 Fearsomes, I'm going to want to go like Sergeant, Sergeant. I guess at that point I could... I could Sharp Sight one of these. I could Sharp Sight one of these and have them be able to block Fearsome also. One of the... one of the Badger Bears. Alright, so we got them to waste a Frenzied Skitter. Very good. I'll give me a laser. Pushing my limit. And I, I like this deny because harrowing is a card that could be a little scary. What's up, Elithid? We were playing some Karma Lux, some Zoe Diana, and Callista Hecarome today. Good, good mix of decks. So far, so good with this Karma Lux deck. We're two and zero. So Moonlight Affliction. Not a bad card. And Concussive Palm, though, even better. That's a good one for me. And there's the Harrowing that I talked about. And GG's. We 3 0. They needed that Harrowing to bring back multiple Frenzied Skitters to make it so it'd be more difficult for me to block. Yeah, after the stream, I'll have to move that puppy bed back over a little bit. It's over just a little bit too far. So go hard. We'll just keep Remembrance and Deep Meditation. I could see Mulliganing Deep Meditation, TBH. But this should be a longer game. And they have, you know, they have tons of card draw. So we're going to need to be able to try to keep up. There's nothing to fear. That's not so good for me. That's a good turn to Elise. So we want the 5-5 five, five tough. Same card that we just got our last Remembrance with it. That one, Vanguard Cavalry. Vanguard Cavalry, please. Oh. The Moose. The moose isn't bad. Could be worse. I do not speak Spanish. Pretty same. Oh 
know, like, because they're, they just drew a go hard, right? Like, so they're just go hard this Valor. But I don't really, like, let them attack with all this stuff. This is messy. Okay, cool, they just went to attacks. That's better for me. Yes, they probably got Glimpse Beyond, since they didn't cast Go Hard that turn. I could certainly use Radiant Guardian for some Nexus healing. I'm always up for a round or two. Wow. Blue as the Serpentine. That's a surprise. I would expect I would expect gold card there, basically, if I were them. Like I, I would I would gold card there and have like this attack. Wait a minute. Basically we're in a lot of trouble no matter what. Like, when I say good options, I mean, I, I have different options of, like, things to play, but none of them are necessarily good options. We are pretty close to dying, kind of, no matter what I play. We live here. Y'all think Gohard's getting nerfed? Possibility. Where there is life, there is hope. I couldn't really play around that, I don't think. Obviously, I, you know, I wish I could have Deny available, but I, I don't think I could just do nothing this turn. You know, I could, like, Deep Meditation, but... I think I'd just hope not vengeance. It's worked out well for them. Hmm. I wanted a dragon that cost five or less. I wish I would have played the uh, other plaza now. I don't know, I could have gone Plaza, Elise, you know, kill Elise. Gosh, they just have too, too many cheap threats, right? Like, it's just too cheap. Like, yeah, this is... It's over, unfortunately. Because Valor's are, yeah, Valor's very good in our deck. It does a lot of things. You know, it's it's a spell that you can that you can double up with both. You know, like with your Karma, it, it works for spell mana. With your Lux, it, it's a card that helps turn on your Radiant Guardian. Um, you know, you can kind of use it as removal in that sense too, and it also works with your Grand Plaza. It does it does a whole lot of things in our deck. A whole lot of good things in our deck for for just the, for two spell mana, which is two spell mana is not much mana at all. All right, go hard. You got me. <clears throat> I guess the puppy got tired of the bed. <laughs> you can see the, you can see puppy laying down there. It's like, all right, pet, bed too comfortable. Got to go lay on the floor now. <laughs> and then there's of course Harvey there laying there too. I like this. Another aggro deck, another Grand Plaza deck. We certainly want Radiant Guardian. When will I find peace? Violence to end violence. Hmm. 
recite protect me. Alright, so I'll just block this thing with my Mage Seeker and then be able to play Radiant Guardian. Slow down, will you? Nah. Here we go. Search then. Scrap shot. For the falling. You think my opponent's gonna play around scrap shot? <laughs> Probably not. Even a fragment snuffs out lives. For the lost. So assuming that last card is sharp sight, what do I want to do? Probably nothing. Not even like single combat here. Probably nothing. All right, final answer. Challenge. Uh, Lucian is their other champion. Lucian Riven. You will be scoured from this land. Uh. All right, back to nineteen. We'll have the Lux here, we can create an additional barrier, like we can create a barrier now. It gives them that 4-5. Okay. see what do we want to do we could go scrap shot and we have four mana left now let's go with the sergeant scrap shot of course you know give would give us the final spark it is a fast card push back the darkness oh interesting they're willing to throw away lucian and that's interesting glory and relenting what you do hardy Harvey. Virtue guides me. She's gonna draw her two cards. Yes. If I don't pet Harvey, she just starts starts scratching the chair. And tell her to start petting her. Here, come over here. I'll put you over here. Alright, we got lots of spells. So we're at five out of six now with Lux. So, a good two mana spell. I've been hiding my life too long. We'll just kill the three four. If I do it to the Radiant Guardian, of course it has tough, plus it has one extra health that it shouldn't have, so it only actually, you know, it only do like two damage to, to that to put it down to three, but of course being down at three. What? A 9-9 nine -nine Overwhelm? 
We could pass and see what they do with attacking, but I guess if I pass, they could pass. They don't have to attack, but the most likely outcome is that they do attack. Um, I could also... I guess, I guess this is my best play, is just doing this. Yeah, I guess this is my best play. It gives me five mana still, so I still have Prismatic Barrier, Sharp Sight, Single Combat. So I've already spent five mana for Lux. So I don't want to play like something big up next. I'm going to get a Final Spark pretty cheap and then maybe play something else and get another Final Spark. Demacia. Yeah, you can see how like the the blighting assaults have been great for us this game. You can see like why they're in our deck. My strength is yours. A beacon through the dark. Challenge over here. That's 15 damage. Put him down to one. Guess I might as well go with this and try to put lethal on them. With having the barrier still back up. Okay, there we go. And GG's. All right, four and one. All right, so Karma Lux looked good. I liked how this deck played. Yeah, we spent spent a good amount of time putting this deck together before the stream, and I, I was very happy with it. So yeah, that's um, I liked everything in the deck. Honestly, we even played against a lot of Grand Plaza, and we don't have any landmark removal, and we were still very successful there. Um, you know, our one loss was just to Go Hard, where uh, we had a bunch of awkward stuff. Which, you know, like that that can definitely happen sometimes with a deck like this. But overall, I was very impressed with our deck, very impressed with our two champions. And it, it looked really good. It looked really good. The Radiant Guardians were awesome. They really were. You know, I wish it was 5-5. Five five. <laughs> you know, back in the day when Radiant Guardian was a 5-5, five five, that was great. Um, but still at 4-5, it worked really well. Like just the Grand Plaza was awesome in our deck, right? Like it's but it's not like we needed the Grand Plaza, but it's just a really good quality card to have. Um, the Remembrances, we had turn three Remembrance quite a bit, and, you know, our deck's definitely better whenever we do have turn three Remembrance, and we did a good job having turn three Remembrance. Oh, is there a little puppy dog wants to come up here? Is there a puppy dog wants to come up here? Oh, that's a puppy dog. <laughs> we got Harvey in the bed back, back there. Uh, so, yeah, very happy with, with our deck here, with Karma Lux. That was pretty awesome. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Karma Lux. Let me know what you think of the list. And give this one a try. This, you know, 4-1. It's not easy getting a 4-1 in ranked. So yeah, give this one a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Let me know what you think of the list. I'd appreciate that. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.